Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to this next video in our premium section on um, the channel. So today I am going to be talking about a very important concept called categorization. Categorization, uh, the name is very big. Yeah. And it seems like something, oh my God, scary. But no, categorization is not something scary. It is actually the backbone of language development. Why? Because after a time, language cannot be further developed just by saying, okay, say four things about this or, you know, describe this picture, you know, like this. You cannot be saying, uh, you cannot be just growing language if you don't have categorization. Categorization allows you to grow the language of a kid on an exponential front. Let me explain how. When we say categorization, we divide this world into various categories. Okay, so that means when a kid is seeing something, it belongs to a bigger category. All of these are electronics, all of these are furniture, all of these are um, uh, kitchen items, all of these are plants, all of these are animals. These are just the very simpler categories. Now, when we go further, we see there are more and more and more and more categories around. There are categories inside of categories and our language takes a complete exponential shift or a jump or a leap forward when we do uh, categories because how that happens is in day to day life. Okay, like for example, if mother says go get me a katori okay, or a bowl. Now, if the child has the categorization in place and knows all bowls are kept in this one particular place. Yeah. So, the it will be easy for the child to find the bowl. Okay. So, there is more presence in the here and now. So, the child goes and tries to locate. Now, suppose there is not a single bowl kept there. So, the child will then be taught by the parent to say, Ki, Mama, there is not a single bowl in that section. Where did all the bowls go? Yeah. So basically when we are categorizing or putting together, that's when another simple example is we all go to, um, you know, these big bazaar and, 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 and D Mart and all of these Reliance Mart, such kind of places. So it is we mothers who do the talking with the shopkeeper, uh, the, 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 the store in charge or the salesperson there that which way for the stationery. What are we doing? We have a category in mind and that person tells us and so we head straight to that and we hold our child's hand and we take. But what we don't do is we don't ask the kid to say go find out on which floor is the stationary section. Now if the kid knows the category that all of these are stationary items then the kid also knows that if he needs a copy he need not stand in front of the section that has cauliflowers. Because here he will not get a copy and he needs to go forward and check. It's like we are bringing the awareness of the kid in the here and now. These are some very basic examples of categorization. As we move along, we will see that there are categories inside of categories. So for sports equipment, there is gym equipment and outdoor sports equipment. Right. So these are categories. So like for someone like my son who is doing hotel management, there are um hot desserts and there are cold desserts and then there are um, gas desserts like uh, gas uh, and, and oven desserts so desserts which are made in the oven and desserts which are made on the gas burner so there are and then then for us for regular people like um, you know who are everyday uh, you know even in our everyday talking we will say no, this is um, cook and serve and this is bake and serve or this is uh, you know ready to eat or this is ready to cook so these are also categories within the kitchen items within the um, you know food items and the more we know of categories the more our language grows because we build it around that okay so on that note let me teach you let not teach you that's a wrong word let me help you understand how you can create a categorization booklet which will also function as 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 a leisure 
time support to your child and keep your child away from that much dreaded stimming that we do that okay the kid is free and they're doing this 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 so if the kid gets busy looking at something and learning and forgets doing this then it's a win-win situation yeah so this is how you can create your categorization booklet so cameraman please zoom in so it is visible yeah this is the one we have created at our center this one full book as you can see this is um this one full book is uh about different kinds of categories depending upon your kids age and present ability level so it's like pet animals so you can simply give this book to the kid while he is free that can develop vocabulary also and i will tell you how in the second phase like today in this video only how using categories you will develop language by doing odd one out and language where does it come in why which is odd and why so which is odd the kid will understand if he has categories and to explain why is this one odd because picture 1 3 and 4 are this category and picture 2 is a different category so there's a lot of language that will develop in the kid i will just give you a demo i've kept the material ready so it's like pet animals so you give the, the kid names and you explain the concept that all of these bachcha are pet animals okay then um that animal young ones and then so it's like it continues so what animals eat so on the basis of that you know carnivores herbivores i think i skipped two three pages there was um you know wild animals also then sea creatures yeah so as the kids age grows you continue to okay so for older children amphibians what are amphibians those that can live on land and earth both uh, land and water both insects reptiles yeah birds yeah so all of these categories now if you might say i have a four year old i my kid will not benefit from amphibians don't do we are a center we will have older kids and younger kids we will have mainstream school going kids so we have created a booklet in which we will have all sorts of variety you may or may not do that's a choice you have that's fine yeah so vegetables and 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 dry fruits and nuts and fresh fruits so you you know a categorization can work like this also that you say you know you keep three pictures of let's say almonds um uh, cashews and walnuts and mango and say which is odd and why and the kid then is required to say and of course you will teach first and the kid is required to say picture 1 2 and 3 are dry fruits picture 4 is a fresh fruit that is why it is odd it does not belong so you can continue to add there and the kid gets to know okay so now electronic bathroom articles yeah kitchen articles bathroom articles yeah electronics yeah non electronics in the bathroom yeah so electrical appliances so you could have three of these pictures and probably place one picture from let's say of a bucket yeah so you say this is a bathroom item yeah one picture of this and you said this is a bathroom item and these are electronics so they are different okay even inside of that you could, it could be that this is a electronic item used in bath bathroom excuse me whereas this is a plastic item used in bathroom like a bucket and maybe um you know the geyser like that so what we have done is first we have created this booklet at all levels okay yoga poses dance poses so that the child's overall awareness increases then um you know uh, clothes that children wear people wear winter clothes summer clothes so all sorts of things are here it's taken a great amount of time to create this book but this book is good to serve um any kid okay whatever their level uh and we custom make this book also in case you interested you can message us if you want this whole kit and we can get in touch with you you can message us at 7021777777 okay so having said that let me just show you once you have done categories with the kid okay the next thing then that you're going to do is like you know all of these are agricultural activities all of these are um you know engineering activities so as kids grow up dentistry activities 
so as kids grow up they their awareness increases okay now so on and so forth now earth and the solar system then pollution uh, okay yeah so i hope you got an idea of you know okay so musical instruments gym instruments gym equipment all of these are traffic signals so like this okay now how can you teach language using these so here are some cards okay so it's like the, or these three are vegetables yeah you can zoom in yeah so gourd bottle gourd and um onions okay so which is odd and why so picture one and picture three are vegetables picture two is a fruit yeah so once they know the categories then it becomes very easy for them to uh, so these are also pictures of fruit so you can mix and match and you can do i'll give you some more examples okay so um, let's say these are tools these are pollution what is this festivals okay these are festivals and we have yeah uh, okay so let us say these are uh, electronics and do we have a furniture here so i'll give you an easy example rocket okay so yeah let us take this i'll not waste time there's finding it out so we have kept for sample now what you can do how you can do is you will put two or three pictures of one kind okay yeah and along with that please focus here on the table yeah and along with that maybe one picture of a different kind and say which is odd here and why picture one picture two picture three and picture four so you will ask the kid tell me which picture one two three four and you can put it on a piece of paper and write one two three four which is odd and why so picture one is odd because it is an electronic item it is a refrigerator used in the kitchen picture two three and four are same because these are air transport or these are things that fly in the air yeah so there's a plane there's a rocket and there's a hot air balloon these are these fly in the air and whereas this is a electronic so similarly you could keep three of electronics you could keep one maybe a fruit so you can mix and match and you can get the kid to give you answers on why is something odd as your child improves in their explanations you can make it more complex okay and you can make it um okay now uh, yeah so you yeah so this is another very simple one so so say for example you put these here okay and you put let us say these here so which is odd and why so picture one two and three are sea animals birds and plants all three of them are living things picture four are electronics these are non-living things so there's a category inside of a category so like this you can get the child to understand logic and reason it out and be able to give the answer in as many words uh, so you can create this categorization booklet and these cards on your own or you can order from us and we can make the kit and send it to you i hope this video brought value to you and try it out with your children and teach them uh, logical thinking and reasoning skills and improve their vocabulary so on that note may each kid win thank you so much